Greetings everyone and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Today it's all about the melting. The melting we so desperately need to happen. Because there are things we need to manufacture and these things require elements that are behind ice. Or are they? We made some good progress. It could be that that ice has started to melt and that would be a very good thing. You see, we are now fully in the liquid water stage, moving quickly, well, not quickly, moving towards lakes. What does this mean? Well, I'm guessing it means that the water that's been coming from the sky in the form of rain has begun to pool, as you can see in the low level areas down here. Eventually, the water line will come all the way up here and we'll be able to take full advantage of that. Now, in order to speed this along, I have taken some measures. I went back over to the Iridium cave and I got some Iridium. I made another rod, so we have a third tier 3 heater. Tier 3? Yeah, that's tier 3. I do have another rod. I'm going to need that one, though. Definitely going to need that one. Uh, in addition to that, I have another drill over here, so we're getting our pressure. I have another one of the uh, grass spreaders over here. You know, I'm thinking I need to put one in the middle here because there's a big open space here. So we'll have to see about that. But I do have four of them. So we have our oxygen increase. We have our pressure increase. And of course, our heat increase. Now, in order to support all of that, yeah, I had to make more solar panels. I need uranium badly, but it's going to have to wait. I mean, I can keep making these as long as I have... Oh, Tier 3 Backpack. Interesting. I doubt I can make that, though. But you know what? We'll just take a quick look at that. Super Alloy, Super Alloy. I could make it, but that would be overly expensive at the moment. Or would it? It really depends on how much melting has taken place. But I think I'm going to hold on to that one for now. Because I'm going to need this for other things. Yeah, I have a lot of aluminum. I mean, I spent a lot of aluminum. As a matter of fact, I made a couple of upgrades for myself. Uh, I got the, uh, the Tier 1 Mining Speed upgrade. That one didn't need any, but the compass needed two. And remember, these guys also needed it as well. But what I did was I went back and I gathered all the stuff that we had gathered. And I also did a lot of searching around and I found more. So aluminum, yeah, we got a bunch of it. But you know, we're going to need a lot of it. See, one of the reasons you need aluminum and you need to find a lot of it is, well, it's a part of something. And that is super alloy. Yes, you can make it and not just find it. But if you look at the ingredients, you got cobalt, iron, magnesium, silicon, titanium. No problem. They're all common. And then you have aluminum. So that's kind of the reason that a good supply of aluminum is good because you can also manufacture your own super alloy. Not something we're going to do right now, but hopefully soon. I'm kind of hoping I can eventually find some rockets lying around. That would make things so much easier. Uh, that's one of the reasons I leave those blue chests around. You know, the contents of those chests are actually determined when you open them and what stage you're at. See, if you open up all the blue chests in the beginning, you're going to get iron, titanium, silicon, things like that. If you wait and you don't need to open them. See, here's the thing. If you need food, open up those chests and get food. But if you don't need to open them and you leave them lying there, eventually you can get some high level stuff. You can get super alloy. You can get osmium. You can get uh, rocket engines. That would be very useful indeed. Indeed. Looks like it's nighttime. And I also do seem to have a water issue. Uh, that's not really a problem with that thing upstairs, though. And how are we doing? Do we got food over here? Yep, we do. Yeah, I would really like to get another uh, squash. But food really isn't a problem at the moment. You know, why don't we just have that? And I'm just going to carry that around with me for now, just in case. It may be a bit overkill on the water, but you know, that's what we're going to do for now. All right, so here's the thing. What we need to make now, desperately, is we need ore extractors. We need osmium for that. The other items I do have. That's what I need the iridium rod for, by the way. 
because I would like to make two of them. One is going to go in that cave over there, the first one. The reason for that, of course, is because each one after that needs an iridium rod, which means I need nine iridium. So I need to be gathering it in order to make these ore extractors. The second one is going to go over there in the aluminum fields because it will gather aluminum over there. Now, you couldn't put the tier one into like the super uh, alloy cave because it won't gather high level stuff. For that, where is the other one? Uh, I think it's at the bottom. Tier two ore extractor extracts rarer ores from the ground. So if I took the tier one and put it in the super uh, alloy cave, it would just gather like iron and such. Not what we want. This one over here extracts ores from the ground depending on the user selection. Right, the tier three one lets you pick like what you want to gather and just that. See, here's the thing. I put the ore extractor in that cave and I will get iridium. I will also get all the other common ones too. So you have to make sure you clear it out once in a while. I mean, there's still a lot of iridium in that cave, but we are going to run out of it. So I need to get that mass producing. But we do need the osmium. Very important. So where is it? Well, do you remember up there when we started looting that wreck and I pointed to a cave that was frozen over? Well, I'm hoping at this point that that ice has started to melt. Because I do know there's some osmium up there. Now, there's a bigger cave, but there's no purpose in going all the way over there if it hasn't started to melt yet. There's also some melting that can help us in there as well. But let's first go over here, see if we can um, actually get some osmium. And then, well, that's going to open up a whole bunch of stuff for us. All right, oxygen is the first order of business, but... Ooh, melting. All right, let's get in here. Let's fill up. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back and take these apart. Because after all, they are iron, aren't they? And this is iron and silicon. But for now, it's useful. Ooh, guess what I got? Osmium. Okay, I need two for each extractor. Of course, there's another wall of ice down here that's blocking us from getting to something else. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can get sulfur in here, too. I have to keep my eyes open for it. How many? Oh, we have four now. That's enough for two extractors. Sulfur is going to be important once we start playing with uh, fertilizer. So we'll just hold on to it for now. It's not critically important, but okay, there we go. I think that's the most we can do for now, so we have to wait until our progress is up to 5 UK. Probably going to be a very long time. I forget what's actually behind there. There is another a very rare element in there, so we're just going to have to go with what we have for now. I think we got everything that's here, but the fact that this cave is melted means that other caves are going to be melted as well. I'm just going to grab the iron here. All right, let's just pop our heads in here for a moment. And then we're going to head back. Then we're going to head over to the Iridium Cave in order to uh, begin the ore extraction over there. And the beacon points the way home. So the green one is going to lead us back to the main base. As soon as we have teleporters, things will be a lot easier. A lot less running around. Of course, the jetpack would be nice too. Okay, so we do have enough to make some things here. Now, I don't need... Can I put that someplace else for now? Yeah, why don't we do that? Because I don't need the sulfur now. Uh, on the way back, I picked up some elements to uh, make an oxygen hut. But I don't really need that just yet, so I don't want to tie up my inventory because I have a feeling... Oh, I can't do anything over there, can I? Uh, I'll put it in with the water for now. Because I'm kind of full on uh, titanium. 
Yeah, I'm filling up quick. I went out and I did a lot of gathering to fill these boxes so that... See, this is the second uh, iron one. So that if I need something to build with, I can just reach over and grab it. Uh, this one is still kind of a mix because I don't have enough. I put that in there too. You know what? Let's just put the titanium in there. Okay. Now, I don't need more than two. So what I also need is going to be... Okay, the rod. Right. This was the reason that I had the spare one. We don't want to spare the rod. All right. I need a super alloy, aluminum, and a titanium. Well, I just had some titaniums there. And then we have a super alloy, and then we have an aluminum. And uh, where is it? We can make it now. All right. So we're going to go over to the cave. We're also going to see if we can pick up more iridium so we can make another rod. That way we can put it in the aluminum field because that's where I would really like it next. All right, so let's see. Uh, by the way, how much power do I have? I have enough power for one of them, I believe. Hold on a minute. Let's just take a quick look. How much power does that need? 34. All right, we're going to have enough for this one. I do have something we can do regarding power, if my memory is right. And it's in the direction we're going in. First things first, I am having a bit of a water issue, and I'm having a bit of a food issue. Right, those guys are resetting over there. All right, so I do have two food, I have two water, I have an oxygen one, that shouldn't be a problem. All right, we're going over to the cave, and we can build it. All right, let's just go. Now, there is an oxygen tent in there, so I don't have to worry about bringing it with me. When we go to the other cave, that's when I'm going to have to bring stuff with me. We might as well just plop it on the ground next to this. It'll make it easier. Especially considering, I think I have a box in there already. And what we can do is just take the stuff we don't want and dump it in there. All right, so here, our first ore extractor. All right, we'll put it right here. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to gather a whole bunch of common elements... But, because it's in this cave, it's also going to give us a chance of getting some iridium. So we'll leave that for a bit. And of course, basically it's draining power from our power network. See, the way things work is that wherever you put something down that drains power or even creates power, it doesn't matter where it is on the planet. Which is something I'm going to demonstrate very soon. All right. Meanwhile, while we're here, here, let's just fill up a bit. Let's see if we can find some more. I did some cleaning down here, but I'm also very interested to see if the melting that we saw up above there is going to be down here too. Because there's some serious things that we can get our hands on. I'm going to need nine of these. All right. If we see any aluminum, I may have to uh, grab them too. It's very difficult for me to leave aluminum behind. Aluminum? No, it isn't. All right, let's go up here more. Because I kind of cleaned a lot of this area down, but I wasn't up here. Clearly. All right, that's silicon. All right, I need nine of these. And, of course, aluminum. I always need aluminum. See, that's the reason I need the extractor down, because once I pick all of these, they're not going to be here anymore. Oh, I'll take that aluminum, thank you. And even though there's aluminum here, this is primary, primarily a uh, iridium spot. And I do believe there's another gold chest in there somewhere. Just not looking for it now. All right, how are we doing? Here, wait a minute. Boom. Um, that is nine. That's what we need. And that's magnesium. All right, let's uh, grab a little oxygen. And yep, this is all open over here. So we'll take a look at it. There's another box over there, but that's just a, uh, a regular blue one. Hey, look, water. Can I drink that? No, I can't. Where did that even come? Oh, it's coming from there. Right. Okay, load up. All right, we're going to pop our head outside here for a bit because I'm very interested in something. Do I have... 
Yeah, I do have oxygen. Yeah, that's probably just another storm. I've been getting a lot of storms that don't have any meteors. And it's starting to get a bit on the frustrating side. So that's probably just a regular storm. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab that too. Right now, this place has got a lot of sulfur in it. I'm not going to be picking it up right now. See, there's a lot of common things around. And I do believe... Yeah, sulfur. So you can get sulfur around here. I think there's also a chest here. There's also a way into the other cave. The one we were just in. This is the other side of that cave. So I'm pretty sure we can get some more stuff here. Uh, like osmium. All right. And some more osmium. Was that the other side of the wall we were looking at? It might have been. But here's the thing. There is another direction over there. So all that's doing is keeping us from linking these guys up right now. Or is it this way? Oh, no, it's actually this way. Get me that osmium. I'll come back for the sulfur someday when I actually need it. When I'm working on... Um, is this the same amount? It's not giving me... The amount I need. Alright, it doesn't really matter. So I don't really need a lot of it right now. See, I can make two more ore extractors or other things that need it. I don't need the sulfur right now, so I'm not going to tie up my inventory. I think there's a box around here too. A little hard to see. Ah, right there. We're going to leave that for now because I am going to be back over here. See, if I go to an area that I know I'm not going to be returning to, then I'm just going to go ahead and loot it. Right, is that the falls over there? Okay, I'm starting to have an oxygen issue. So what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to use my oxygen capsule. Right, okay, so we're not doing it now, but you can get a lot of super alloy along the ground in there. Like I said, we're not doing that right now. We're heading back. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna have to use this one, ain't I? We're going back to base anyway. I do wanna see if we get, oh, now I wanna get that aluminum. Yeah, like I said, there's a bunch, oh, aluminum too. This place probably smells badly with all the sulfur, but uh, like I said, I don't need it now, so I'm not going to tie up my inventory. No, not that way. Pretty sure it's over this way. Because I want to see what the extractor has actually extracted. Like I said, it probably smells here, but let's face it, we're not breathing it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, how much space do I have? I mean, I can just pick up some of this stuff, too. Uh, what was that? That's silicon. We don't need that. And that's aluminum. We always need that. And then we'll take this, too. All right, let's head down. All right, first things first. Let's pop off some oxygen. And then let's see how we're doing here. Okay, we collected a bunch of stuff here and only one iridium. See, the thing about it is you really do need to clean out your inventory. Hold on a minute. Drink that. Okay, take that, take that. See, every other item that's in there is taking up a spot that you could be getting iridium with. So put that in there too. And that one. That way, you know, we have more places for it to actually spawn. All right, and that. I don't really need that right now. All right, so let's head back to base. 
and then head over to the aluminum field so that we can place another extractor. Although, we're going to have a power problem. But I have a... Um, I have a solution for that. All right, let's drop stuff off and then get supplies. How are you guys doing over here? Uh, I don't have room for them. Hold on. Let's drop some things off. Like, for instance... Yeah, some more aluminum, and I don't really need that at the moment. Although, maybe we should deal with the power problem first, and then put the extractor down. It's probably not a bad idea. All right, one thing that I can definitely do is this. All right, because I don't want to tie up my inventory too much. But then again, it doesn't really take a lot of space, does it? Hold on a moment here. It's only six spots. Let's do this. One of those, one of those. I need two of those. And then the final thing I need is a titanium. All right. I can't lose uh, count, though. Fairly important. Okay, I need water. I need another oxygen. I think I have another oxygen sitting in here. Yes, I do. Actually, I have two of them. One should do the job because I'm also going to need one, two, three, and four, five, and then six. All right, so we'll go to the cave first. Uh, let me just eat something and then grab another one. Actually, boom, boom, boom. And we'll just put that in there. Put that in there too. I probably should be saving eggplants because I'm going to need them. All right, but I think we're good to go for the moment. We have food, we have water, although another water wouldn't be a bad idea. Once water's on the ground, that won't be a problem anymore, but for now, it is a problem. And of course, it's nighttime, but the nights don't last very long around here. And we're going to get a nice look at how the, uh, the water is going down here. All right, so we're going into this little canyon over here because there's a cave in there which should also be well melted. Hopefully it is. Can I drink from here? No, I don't think, I think it's going to let me. Maybe, no, nah, it's not deep enough. Okay, never mind. Maybe I actually have to wait for it to be an official lake for that. All right, so let's just head down this way. Hopefully it brightens up soon. All right, we're in a new biome over here. It is generally harder to see in here for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is. But there's some things over here that I desperately want. All right, we're going to we're looking for a cave and then we're going to build an oxygen tent right outside that cave. Yeah, this is a good cave. It's got iridium as you can see, and in the back it has osmium. Now I'm willing to bet that it also has a sheet of ice in the back that's shielding us from going through because eventually we're going to be able to go through this mountain to the other side and that will give us easy access to some things including um uranium but not at the moment all right so what i want to do is we'll put this down okay can we just find a nice spot for that there we go and i guess i'm gonna have to build over here i wish these things embedded themselves in the ground but you're supposed to put them on top of platforms, right? All right, I was using the flashlight because it was dark. But I think it's brightening up as bright as it can be over here. All right, I mentioned something about power. You see, I seem to remember over here that there are some wrecked solar panels. So let's find them. Also, there's going to be chests over here that I am going to open. The reason I'm going to open is because I'm not going to come around here again. I mean, I might find my way to that cave over there, but I'm not going to come over here. And yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, is that another storm? All right, so here is the thing. If I do this, because I just took it apart. Boom. That is now power for my base. And I believe there's this one here. Okay, wait a minute. Boom. 
See, it doesn't really matter where you put them on the map. You're going to get the power. And I think that there is another... Yep, there is another one. So I just basically got three free tier two solar panels. So I'll take that apart. And... Put that one right there. Just throw it right there. So like I said, I just got a whole bunch of free power. Now, I also have some chests. And like I said... I'm going to open these guys because... Are you kidding me? I'm getting a nuclear reactor. Yeah, really. I mean, that's really the only thing that was a problem. Wow. That was lucky. Yeah, that's what happens when you wait to open these guys up. Squash! Squash! I got some squash! Okay, I'm kind of low in the water. Water shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, a little bit of a problem with oxygen, though. Uh, hold on a minute. Take that apart. I'm pretty sure there's some more chests over here. But I'm thinking that oxygen would be a very good idea right now. I can't believe I just found a uranium rod. Like I said, when you wait, you get some good stuff. That was like the best thing I could possibly find. All right. All right. We do have, I think, one more chest to open. And, you know, there's actually a, uh, a golden chest around here somewhere. I think it's like up there behind one of those um, pillars over around here. But we're not going to look for that just yet. All right. I think it's just one more chest left over here. So let's hope we get really lucky with this. Okay, can I get through there, please? Do I have to take something apart? Okay, there we go. All right, and change to this. Okay, we got another squash. Well, we got a bunch of stuff here, actually. Um, that's a... Okay, that one I'm going to need. Going to need that. More squash is good. Iridium. Yeah, I. you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a chest in here. Actually, I'm going to put a locker in here. Because I just think that's a really good idea. So, let's get a locker. Because I noticed I had three iron. Alright, and let's put... Things that are not really required at the moment. Uh, I don't require that much food. I mean, I do have a couple of foods, and I have a lot at the base at the moment, so not a problem. Yeah, I'm going to make another food grower, since I do have access to more squash. Uh, I should probably also drink some water. Wow, that is just wow. That's what that is. That's just wow. And let's go over here and around here. And then let's open this up. Alright, just grab everything. And then I'll put whatever's left in the box. Because after all, we haven't gone into the cave yet now, have we? But we can get back here a lot easier now. I think it's over here. See, our base? We can see our base from here. All right, let's open. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to deconstruct that. All right, put that in there. Put that in there. Put that in that. That. I don't think I need... I don't think I'm dropping anything else at the moment. Because I kind of want everything else. Although, I think I can wait on the eggplant. Because I think I have like eight of those at the moment. Eventually important, not at the moment. All right, let's go into the cave and see what we can find here. Iridium. I mean, we can grab some, because why not? But I'm really more interested in getting some more osmium. See, eventually you'll be able to put, like, the tier 2 one in here. And, of course, it will get you general stuff, and it'll also get you osmium. I remember when I put one down, it filled so quickly that I, I rarely used it. And, of course, we can get sulfur in here, too. For some reason... The two like to hang out together. Even when there is a meteor that brings osmium, it also brings sulfur. Not really sure what that's all about. 
Yeah, this over here is going to be locked for a while. It's the same timer as the other one, but this will let us go out the other side. I mean, there's more osmium in there, but it will let us go out the other side. And yes, there's a, a box right there, but I will be back. So there's no reason for me to mess with it. And I can just grab one more of these. All right. And of course, can we still build? Oh, I have to have some titanium. All right. I got to grab the titanium that I had out of the other one. But of course, we have a lot new power now, don't we? All right. So here's what we're going to do. I will put the food behind and I will grab one of the titaniums. How am I doing? You know what? Eat that. There we go. All right, we're heading this way because this way will lead us right back to the uh, the aluminum field, which is where we're going. Yeah, these guys are ours now. They're just laying on the ground. Just take them apart, put them back together, and get them working. Okay, we should be able to see a little clearer pretty soon. I don't think there's anything over here. Like I said, there is a golden chest around here. It's just we're not looking for it just yet. And there is the aluminum field. And there is the Stargate uh, base, space station that crashed. All right, so we need to find a nice place to put this. And there's the other chest that I found before. Maybe if it's in visual range of the base, it's probably a better situation. All right, so I'm going to drop it on the ground right here. So we're going to put an ore extractor here. And if you look at this, it's going to gather the common elements, and it's also going to gather aluminum. But of course, you have to come by and empty it out every once in a while. I should put a platform over here and a locker so I can dump stuff out of it. Anyway, that's going to get us aluminum, and the one in that cave is going to get us iridium. Now, like I said, uh, we can't like make one of those and put it in the super alloy or in the osmium cave yet. We need the tier two one. The same thing with the uh, uranium. Speaking of uranium, we're about to have a whole lot of power. I still can't get over how lucky that was. I was expecting to get a, uh, a chip in there. Yeah, this is much better than a chip. Much better. Okay, I heard a lot of gas there. I don't know what was going on with that. All right, why don't we drop you in there? Okay, I'm close to being able to make another rod. And at the moment, I don't really need you. All right, uh, how is this going? They're not grown yet. Yeah, I'm going to put squash in there too. Because... Okay, so what do I need for the T1 nuclear reactor? All right, I need super alloy. That's fine. And then water. Water is obviously not a problem. And I need... Where is it? Okay, I only have two. How horrible. Whatever will I do? I have no idea what I'm going to do in order to resolve this situation. I, I feel so broken. I feel so terribly, terribly broken that there's nothing I can possibly do about not having enough super alloy except... Oh, I just made one. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. We can make a nuclear reactor. All right, first off, how are we doing? See, we did add a bunch of power, but then again, I also just put a digger up, which was about 34, 35... But uh, yeah, I think that's about to go to triple digits. So can I put it on the ground? Yeah, I don't want this thing near my base. That's what I'm thinking. Boom. Ah, feel the wonderful glow of radiation. Ultimate power. That really saved me a lot of trouble because, of course, we'd have to go to the uranium cave and I have two. I need seven more, but I still need them. I need them badly. It's just that uh, it's not quite as pressing a need anymore. Yeah, that is going really slow. That's going to allow me to build some more stuff. 
Once we have enough to make another iridium rod, I'm going to make another heater. I probably already have it back at the cave already. And then, of course, we need more of these. We need more of these. Like I said, I don't like this blank spot right here. So I'm going to put them right here because it looks really sad. Sad and lonely. And all because of the melting. It melted, we have access to uh, osmium, which means we got the ore extractors, and of course we can actually do more as well. We have a bunch of these. Um, yeah, super alloy. I can manufacture super alloy. I will probably start doing that, but that area I pointed to, you know, the dust falls, there's a lot scattered around there. So we're going to have to make a trip over there. Just at the moment, not the highest priority. We're getting a lot of aluminum now. We can make our own stuff. It's not like I am lacking in the other materials necessary to actually produce it, if you know what I mean. All you need is one of each of the common items that are quite easy to get and an aluminum. So as long as you're getting a lot of aluminum, you can really get as much super alloy as you want. And of course, I'm actually thirsty. Hold on a second. Can I get some more water here? You know what? Boom. Boom. And... Give me that. Yeah, water really isn't a problem right now. But it will really not be a problem once that water level is higher. And it is getting up there, isn't it? It's going to take a while. So we're going to have to help it along. More pressure, more oxygen, more heat. So I'll be working on that as well as other things. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hydration. Didn't I actually drink any of those? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Anyway, like I said, I think that's going to be it for now. So we're making really good progress. There's no question that my next trip is either going to be the uh, one of the wrecks Although, I think I might want to put that off a little bit longer. So, I'm thinking the Uranium Cave. That is where I think we're going to go. There are some things we're going to pass in the meantime. It's just that, here's the thing. The longer I wait on going into the big ships, the better the loot is going to be. And I really, really simply want to find the rocket engines. You can see, they're very expensive. And once you get to a certain level, you can just find them in the ships. So I'm hoping to get there because, of course, what I want is I want the jetpack. And that requires two rockets. And, of course, we're going to have to make the platform, the rocket platform, and start sending rockets into space in order to help with the pressure and, of course, the heat and, of course, the oxygen. And then eventually helping things grow. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the great god algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.